recall the gland tutorials once again. Okay, we just did the exercise 2.1 in the previous lecture. Now in this lecture we go to the next exercise that is exercise 2.2. Now first we will see what is exercise 2.2 telling us. Just have a look at this. Okay, let me zoom this to your Let's see what this exercise tells us to do. In each of the examples given below, determine whether the values given against each of the quadratic equation are the roots of the equation or not. Okay, let me keep this here. Okay, so this is the question. And what I have to do is, there are certain values given of the variables. We have to find out if those values are roots of the quadratic equation or not. Now that you have seen the question, you don't need to see the question again. I will write it down on the board. Let me remove this part. Okay. Let's do the first one. The question is, x square plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 and there are 3 values given to us x is equal to 1, 2 and minus 3 minus 2 sorry now what I need to do in this these values are already given to us we have to substitute these values in place of the variable and find out if we are getting LHS equal to the RHS now what does LHS and RHS mean? left hand side and right hand side so let's check first is x is equal to 0 so LHS is equal to x square so that means 1 square plus 3x that means 3 multiplied by 1 minus 4 is equal to 0 this we have to find so we don't need to write it here we just erase this up and we find out what answer are we getting this is equal to 1 plus 3 into 1 that is 3 minus 4 that is equal to 3 plus 1 is 4 minus 4 that is equal to 0 so this is equal to RHS so therefore LHS is equal to RHS so therefore we got it equal to 0 therefore X is equal to 1 is the root of the quadratic is this clear? So it is simple. Even the second sum as well as the third. You have to substitute minus 2 in place of this. You have to substitute minus 3 in place of this and find the answer. Let's check for minus 3. When x is equal to minus 3. I hope you guys are paying attention here. LHS is equal to now x square. So minus 3 the whole square plus 3 multiplied by minus 3 minus 4 that is equal to minus 3 the whole square is minus 3 into minus 3 so minus and minus you get plus so you get 3 square is 9 and minus and minus is plus so no sign here plus 3 into minus 3 comes to 3 3 is 9 and the minus sign when there is a minus we put a bracket minus 4 that is equal to 9 plus and minus minus 9 minus 4 that is equal to 0 minus 4 that is equal to minus 4 now is this equal to 0? no so this is not equal to 0 so therefore we write LHS is not equal to RHS so therefore X is equal to minus 3 is not the root of the quadratic equation so this was the first part of the exercise even all the other sums you have to do it in the same method just find out the square of this if there is a square you have to find the square substitute and multiply all will be quadratic equation you have to multiply and then find if it is equal to 0 or not you will get an example like root is equal to square so you will get an example right root square so if it is root 3 root 4 root anything you know root square is root 3 into root 3 root into root is only the number itself so root 3 into root 3 is only 3 so if it is root 3 square it is only 3 is this clear in this is this understood i hope you have understood the first part of this exercise 
Excuse me, sir. Uh, I wanted to know how to do the second part yeah. of the thing. Sure. I'll do it right now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The second sum. Now, what does what is the question telling us? If one root of the quadratic equation x square minus 7x plus k is equal to 0 is 4, then find the value of k. Now, let's check this. What is given to us in this question that the solution is a root of the quadratic equation. That means it is equal to 0. But there is one extra variable given to us that is k in this question. Let's find the value of that k. What is the question? x square minus 7x plus k is equal to 0. Now, when, when is it equal to 0? When x is equal to 4. That means when you put 4 in place of x, you are getting equal to 0. So we have to just find the value of k. So simple is substitute. x is equal to 4. So therefore, x square, this x square becomes what? 4 square minus 7 into 4 plus k is equal to 0. We don't need LHS, RHS here because already we know that it is equal. So therefore, 16 minus 7 fours are 28 plus k is equal to 0. So therefore, now what is 16 minus 28? Let's do it step by step. 28 minus 16. Why did 28 minus 16? Because this is the plus sign. Plus and minus is minus. So with this we come to know what are we to do from of these two numbers. We have to do minus 28 that is the greater number minus the smaller number that is 16. So 28 minus 16. 8 minus 6 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So what is the sign of the greater number? Minus. This is the greater number. So we get minus and the answer. 12 plus k is equal to 0. Now we have to find the value of k. So let only k be on the left, remaining on the right. 0 plus 12. Y plus 12 minus comes here becomes plus. So therefore, k is equal to 12. So therefore, the value of k is 12. That's it. This ends the sum. So is it clear? The first part and the second part. The first part is just substituting the values. The second part, it is given to us that this value, when you put it in place of the variables, you get the answer as 0. And you have to only find the value of k. This exercise is a very scoring exercise because it's very easy. You just need to substitute. And the second part is given that it's a root and you have to find the value of k. These sums come for two or maximum three marks. So please see to it that you will practice these sums a lot. Even in the problem set, there are these type of sums. So please practice it a lot. So guys, if you understood this video, please practice it more and more so that you will easily get two or three marks in this exercise. And share this video with all your friends, those who find a difficulty in this type of sum or this, this particular exercise. Okay, And if you have not subscribed, still subscribe to the Glenn Tutorials channel so that you have continuously, continuously get all the necessary updates. So till then, take care. God bless to all of you and study hard. Bye.